Hi, it's Chris Crocker, and I am here at the Spokane Convention Center, where it is being transformed into a magical bridal wonderland. It is the Bridal Festival, a two-day amazing event, all things bridal. And I am here with Tammy Schneider, and Tammy, I am so excited to be here. This looks like a fun weekend, and we're here at the dresses. It all starts with the dress, doesn't it, you it know Tammy? What? It absolutely <laughs> does. We are here with Celestial Selections, and they just have a beautiful bridal selection here, and I mean, you really, if, if as soon as you get engaged, one of the first things brides want to do is, what am I going to wear? Absolutely. So it does start with your, the dress. You're absolutely right. And what are some of the, the trends that brides are going to see uh, with the dresses this season when they come to the, the festival? Well, the great thing about um, our bridal event is we actually also have live fashion shows. So we have Fabulous. three shows where you can actually see the latest trends and styles and colors and designs from bridal gown to tuck tuxedos to honeymoon attire. Oh, wow. And tell me about the price range. Is there something for everybody? You know what? There really, there really truly is. I mean, even let's say, you know, you, you have a budget of a dress of, let's, I'm just going to throw something out there, $500. Or, you know, maybe it's $2,000. Or maybe it's a second time wedding that, you know, you just want to have something a little more casual, not quite so elegant. There truly is something here for everybody. Oh, wow. This is, well, these are just absolutely beautiful. And in all sizes, Sizes and shapes, I see. Something for everybody. Absolutely. These dresses are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about some of these dresses? What are some of the things that brides are looking for right now? Yeah, absolutely. That's a great question. So this one, it's kind of hard to see with it hanging on the hanger here, but this is actually an off-the-shoulder ball gown. Oh, that's and beautiful. And off-the-shoulder is such a huge trend right now. And if we flip this one around and we actually take a look at the back, it's got this super beautiful illusion lace back, which is a huge trend different designs on the backs is really something that girls are looking for nowadays. Uh -huh. It's kind of the statement piece of the dress. Oh, a very critical decision for any bride and groom, the wedding photographer. And Tammy has brought us here to meet Luba. And uh, I'll start with you, Tammy. What makes Luba special? You know, she has been actually doing my bridal fairs for many, many years. The, the reason I just think she, she just does an extraordinary job and, men, and has won many awards, many national awards. It's yes, pretty it exciting. Yeah, thank you. She's yeah. on the cover of the wedding resource yes. guide right here. Yes, beautiful shot there. And that, that picture actually won international award. Oh, this one yeah, right here? Shot of 2016 that was international competition. Oh my goodness. But what my brides love is the books. That's why they come to me. Look at these books. Okay. Uh, they come. Oh, wow. Oh. Yes. And uh, Okay, this is special. The the books are the top of the line in the world. It's uh, printed in the, um, oh, the it's one printing gorgeous. company in the world in Italy. Oh. And in fact, last month uh, I got a call from them and they are going to exhibit my book in their image this weekend. In, in Nashville, Tennessee. Yes. That I was fantastic. extremely honored. Oh uh, my goodness. Well, but I think that our Northwest brides really deserve world class photography and, and product. And look at this. Not only that, the, bra the parents actually get a copy of the book. Oh my oh, gosh. Yes. Yeah. And it's exact replica of the book. And then, guess can get even smaller. Oh, <laughs> oh my, my goodness. goodness. That is adorable. Yes, yes. my brides it. absolutely love it. What a yes. great memento. Yes. And you yes. send that in the thank you note. And uh, yeah, exactly. Oh, That's very good. Wow. Yeah. And last year was just spectacular for me. I had like seven wedding publications uh, that they featured my weddings. So my oh. brides love that. Yeah, it's really, really awesome. Oh yes. my goodness. And that's what I think this year will be even better. What should brides and grooms think about when they are picking a photographer and thinking about the photography? Very good question. Uh, you know, the experience is, is, there is no substitute for experience. And me being photograph, uh, photographing weddings so long that I learn every, every year I get better and better. And uh, so I strive for, every wedding for me is an opportunity to make my best shot. 
So, and, and it's, it's very important, read experience, because you can't repeat the day. No. You can't. And that's one of the you know, crucial decisions brides will make. Uh, because the photographer needs to know what to do in any situation under time pressure uh, and uh, just be good with customers too. It's very important. Uh -huh. It yes. seems like the Northwest would be a wonderful place to take pictures because of the yes. so much of the yes. exterior beauty yes. and, our, our, and our beautiful buildings. But We have so many people coming to, to this area as a destination wedding. I had people from New Mexico come in and had in North wow. Idaho, they had the whole family came, they had that from Canada, people come from all over the place to to be here to, for their special day. Who are lakes and mountains oh, absolutely. and just, I mean there's absolutely. nothing that compares. It's yeah, we, we are very lucky to be here. Do you have a favorite <laughs> place to take pictures? You know, I, I don't know, I can photograph anywhere. But of course, our beauty of our nature here is just, you know, spectacular. And, and I don't know, I, the lakes are wonderful, but I can photograph anywhere, even <laughs> under the bridge. Oh. <laughs> so, oh my goodness, and these I books, under the water. can I, <laughs> under the water. I just want, That's can nice. I look in this book a little bit more? Absolutely. I just want to see yes. these um, pictures. And are the, that's basically look at the, the story of the day, uh, how, um, so we, we I would like love to have fun. It. And this this particular couple they had um, they did not see each other before, so the oh. bride decided to have first look with her girls. Oh, that was a lot of fun. Cute. Oh cute. Yes. <gasps> oh, Where is this? Beautiful. Is this the This was at the Rock and Key Ranch. Okay. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Oh. And, yes. A lot of emotions going on and you know, we designed this style. There is also contemporary style design. It's really up to the bride how they want to see their, their book because this is family heirloom, really. Sure. Uh, and that's why it's so important, uh, you know, that product has to be top quality. Right. Because the flowers will be gone in one day. Right, okay. absolutely. Will be gone in one yes, day. yes. This will go to their children. And, and that's why more and more brides come in to me because of these books. Yeah. You, I yeah. love it. Digital is not enough. I, no. You know, I, I don't just take pictures. I actually create art for people. Yeah, that's the, that the is main so reason. true. Yeah, but look at this. What happened here? I, I really love to show this because it was right time of the year. Oh, I oops, love I'm the sorry. reflection. Isn't it's it so good? pretty? Yes, beautiful. Uh, and we. Oh yes. That is gorgeous. <laughs> no. Wow. Oh, the yes. sunflowers. That's and the that's dream not shot. <laughs> that is that is not the dream Photoshop. shot. No, that no, is no, like that real. In the field, yes. Oh. It was right at the time when it was blooming and you know we we did that. So Oh, oh wow. wow. You must you. love your job. Yeah. You I like love my job. And I forgot to mention that these designs can be anything. This one right here is, you know, you can put the dates and, and, and our wedding. Colors matching your wedding, but look at this. Oh yeah, you can have this. Beautiful. So anything, you know. I made my own book for my son, who used who, who was a pianist, and I have a book like this with the grand piano on the top. Oh, black and black. Wow. Her son is a true artist. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. He's, yeah. He oh, grew great. up. <laughs> Gosh. Well, thank you, Luba. Thank wow, you so I am much. so inspired. Isn't this is fantastic? just really thank great. You. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Thank you. So you know, a really great thing. Um, this is this is what they call the bridal um, center, mm -hmm. and it's on division here, and it's just a whole group of stores from Audrey's Boutique to Pounders. We they have a tux, they have bridal gowns, they have wedding cakes and jewelry. Just a really kind of almost a one-stop shop here. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous um, location. And I, I can see they can park in one location and hit a whole bunch of different stores at once, all, like similar to the bridal Abs fair. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> oh, so now funny. to my favorite part of the wedding, the cake. And Ava is here with Just American yes, Desserts. Yes. I was telling you, I had a Just American Desserts cake at my own wedding years ago. They are amazing. Thank you. How long Thank have you. you been doing weddings? 32 years. I've been oh, in my business my for 32 word. years. Now, yeah. cakes have changed a lot, especially yeah. here recently. Yeah. With uh, mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about what brides are, are asking for these we're, days. We're still seeing a lot of the woodsy, rustic look. 
Um, the naked or semi-naked cakes are still pop very popular. We're still seeing cupcakes, we're still seeing mini desserts, but you don't see all the um, pillars and parts and everything like you used to with the bridges and the little bride and the grooms going down the stairs. It's changed now. <laughs> yeah. The, the stacked cakes are really popular. And so what's a naked cake? A naked cake is, there's no frosting <gasps> on the sides of the cake. Oh, yes. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then semi-naked. Semi-naked is just a little skiff of frosting. Oh, how so, funny! Yeah. Ava, so what do you do without yeah. frosting? Frosting is my favorite. I know. Part. I feel the same way. But and, and it's really hard because we're so used to doing everything perfect and doing yeah. all these. And then so they're bringing in. Can we just do this without any frosting on the sides? So I'm going. Wow. Sure, I can do that. But oh my gosh, you fit yeah. into the dress. Now you can eat the frosting. <laughs> there you go. Oh uh, well, there that go. That, that is great. And what about the the flavor? Obviously, you have some. Cl are, are the classics still the big the classics hits? Classics are still the big hits. They truly are. Our, our tuxedo cake is probably mm. number one. It's alternating chocolates of, of our sour cream white cake and chocolate fudge cake. Okay. But we're seeing, seeing things. Um, we're doing a lot of um, candies on cake. You know, like I did a peanut butter Reese's uh, groom's cake. So mm. with all the peanut butter filling and the, the peanut butter cups, and so you know, it's just whatever the bride and groom want. So there's no. Uh, it's it's what they want. It's what they like and so um, we customize to you know their special needs so that's what we do so. You know, yeah. super quick, you can go in to Eva and um, do tastings, cake tastings. Yes. It's amazing. So you make an appointment with her and she'll have all these different flavors and bring the, you know, the groom or whoever your party right. with you and That's do right. cake tastings before and, and then she'll help you with your design and, right. and, and bring uh, in their ideas, you know, I or love like it. this kind of filling or can you do this or, you know. Tiffany, stuff. my daughter, got married and she used yes. Eva, of course, for the cakes yes. and just amazing. I'm Amazing cakes. Thank you. Thank yes. You. So we do everything from scratch, so that's really what makes the difference in our product. There's no cake mixes or shortening or Crisco or anything like that. Not knocking that type of product, but we are we're special. Oh, I so. taste the difference. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely <laughs> taste the difference. Oh, yeah. Way to go, so. Right. Yes. But you cannot replace butter. <laughs> That's right. All right. Everything's oh, better gosh, with these yeah, yeah, <laughs> Yep, Absolutely. <laughs> Wedding catering has come a long way. There are some trends now with food trucks, and, and what are you showing at the uh, Bridal Festival? You know what, Chris? I mean, truly, truly, we have a little bit of everything here. So we have um, anything from like, uh, you know, the, the pizzas to the donut trucks to the, an actual caterer. That's us. Yes. Yeah, Magic and Catering. What, tell me a little bit about what brides and grooms are asking for from catering these days. What's new? So the, the kind of old traditional menus where things are brought from a kitchen and kind of put out on a buffet line are going away. And what we're starting to do a lot more often is cook on location. So we, we've invested a lot in mobile kitchens and a mobile pizza oven that we have here. So a lot of our clientele are foodies. They want really good restaurant quality food. And back in the day, catering kind of had that connotation of dried out, cold, you know, overcooked food, and we, we're, we're getting rid of that with uh, cooking on location and making sure that's fresh, using really good ingredients, making sure it's high quality, uh, bringing the chef actually right to the wedding venue versus it coming, you know, out of a kitchen that's, you know, hours away or an hour away or whatever it looks like, so. Yeah. That sounds amazing. They really enjoy it. And what are some of the popular things that brides are serving at their weddings these days? So uh, we, we have a wood-fired pizza oven, um, so that's been a lot of fun. We actually have two of them that go out pretty much every single weekend that we use a, a local source to applewood. Um, and then we, you know, hand stretch the dough and cook it right on location. And then a lot of our um, traditional menus with, uh, you know, stuffed chicken and kind of the fresh seasonal ingredients that we like to use and try to source locally. I think that's the kind of biggest highlight you'll see not only on the catering side, but also on the uh, restaurant side. And we, we tend to, as caterers, follow a lot of the restaurant trends because uh, we want to serve what people are eating, you know, out every day over dates or, or a romantic weekend or whatever it be. So. Wow, that is am that's amazing. It is amazing. <laughs> oh we are now at the awe-inspiring booth of the Coeur d'Alene Resort. What a magical place to have a wedding at the resort. I can't imagine. Kelly here is uh, with the resort. And uh, Tammy was telling me, you do it all for the bride. We you can do. plan everything if they don't want to do it a la carte. <laughs> right. We will help set up everything from their um, rentals to we do all the catering and bar services, photography. So we can do as much or 
as little work for you as you want us to. Oh my gosh. I've seen some of the beautiful uh, weddings on the golf course mm -hmm. with the floating green in yes. the background. Uh, do you do all seasons though? We do all seasons. The Hagenon Event Center is the, our premier property out there at the at golf course. And with that, we can um, close it off and do it in the winter. And you just have windows all the way around and fireplaces, oh and it's word. beautiful with the snow. Or in the summer, all the glass doors open, and you're just right there out in the water with the breeze coming through, and it's it's amazing. Uh, do you mainly uh, deal with local brides? It seems like that would be a place we, people would come from all over to get we married. We do. We do a lot of local brides, but we also have a lot of brides from all over the country. We do a lot of destination weddings as well. Well, it seems like with the the resort too, it's one stop. Shop shopping, you can stay there, yes, exactly. eat there, never have to leave the Hagadon property. Right. Yeah, with the hotel rooms and everything, with all the restaurants and the downtown, you really don't have to leave the area. It's great. And I, I will say, I was at a wedding at, at the resort and I had one of the best wedding eats I've ever had. It was, what is it? It's a... The potato martini bar. Yeah. Baked, yes. uh, whipped up uh, potatoes in a martini glass oh. with fixins. Mm -hmm. I thought it was the most extraordinary... Delicious. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> Who doesn't like potatoes? I know. Right? Oh it's delicious. my and goodness. Like the bacon and the chives and the sour cream. Yeah. Oh, I love it's so it. Good. I would. Oh. Uh, if, so if you're having a wedding at the resort, <laughs> please invite me and get the, the martini potato bar. Uh, well, a beautiful booth here. Thank, Thank you. you, Kelly. Thank you. Now, Tammy, obviously there's a lot of things for brides here, but you don't have to leave the groom uh, at home. <laughs> you know what? Honestly, the groom needs to be part of the planning process. He really does. And we can make it fun. We have this amazing man cave here mm -hmm. all weekend long. I mean, we'll have drinks going on. We'll have food. We even have football playing. So, I mean, really, truly, you're not going to miss out on anything. But if, if she needs a question, a quick question, honey, should I pick this dress or this dress? She can run in here and Hi. find him and... They're all here, all well, under one roof. Well, and then probably have opinions about the photographer and the food and the venue and all of that is here too. And that's the great thing about Bridal Festival is we have almost 200 booths here this weekend. So truly, truly, instead of going through the phone book or the internet and trying to figure out, we have the best of the best and we have choices. So we have many different photographers, you know, different bridal shops and different caterers and venues. And so you can come in and just find somebody that's going to fit your budget that's going to fit your personality and it's going to work. And in addition to dresses, we're going to see some tuxes. Absolutely. You know, there's fantastic, you know, you have to have the latest trends and styles and, you know, with tuxes, depending if you're a beach wedding or if you're going to be an outdoor or an elegant wedding. So there's many, many sure. choices. We have seen some beautiful wedding gowns, but just as important, we have to have uh, our groom looking good too. Kevin's here with uh, Men's Warehouse. And Kevin, tell us a little bit about what the modern groom is wearing at the wedding these days. Well, there's just, there's so much on attention to the dress that now our biggest part is we have guys wearing jeans and vests and guys are wearing their own suits or guys are wearing tuxedos. But oftentimes guys don't actually have their own tuxedos. So we really try to concentrate on the rental side of things. We have rental suits, rental tuxedos for those guys, but we do also, we have majority of our product being retail. So we can do jeans and boots and casual vests and that kind of stuff too. Wow, really? Yeah. Like, yeah. So the, what kind of wedding would a guy wear, a je wear jeans to? Uh, Montana's not too far. Oh, so. that's true, okay. So Montana, Idaho, you know, but like some people just want to make it their own way. And so you, I call it a Mumford & Sons wedding. You know, you just oh, get a little sure. bit more of the like, kind of halfway casual look. I see so a we'll lot see of some that. Of those. Yeah. yeah, and like linen suits. Um, we don't really see a short wedding. You know, we guys wearing shorts, but we see pretty casual. Interesting. Really, really, really casual wedding. Yeah. Would yeah. you say that that men are getting away from the tuxedos then for the wedding? I think it's a it's a fair mix because a lot of guys are really wanting to do the more classic because they don't dress up a whole lot. So them and the bride, like they think that's kind of a neat setup for them. Would sure. be to get a really dressed up look, something they're never going to do again, you know. Um, other people, though, it's just not them to dress up. So they'll do the casual look, you know, just a dress shirt, tie, and jeans. When do you advise 
a groom to buy a tux? Is there a certain, if you're ever going to wear My it again? My generic, obvious answer is always, you know, as soon as you can. As soon as you can start thinking about putting stuff together. It's with our bookings, too. But get it done, get it out of the way. That way you're not trying to cut it close. Right. You know, it's the main thing. So, I, you know, if you're two months out of time before your wedding, that's not too early to come in. If you're a year before your wedding, it's not too early to come in. Let's get the ball rolling. Okay. We have a lot of customs. That takes about a month. So our custom suits where we're cutting it right to you. It's got your own name on the inside and everything to it. Some guys like to do that before their wedding. Oh, well. sure, sure. And now when I walked up to your booth, this navy just jumped out at yeah. me. Tell me, this is gorgeous. Who who wears navy and a, a tuxedo? It's beautiful. So, yeah, I mean, it's it was so much just the black there for a long time. And then it was, if it wasn't black, it was going to be white. But our grays and navies have really, really taken over um, recently. Just and it's again, it's want people wanting to make it their own. So when all the girls are wearing, you know, marine navy dresses, the black just doesn't really sit well with it. So no. we started doing it even more with this. And then a lot of the colors just kind of dance off that really, really nicely too. Now, do the men pick their own, or how much does the bride's opinion weigh in? Because well, brides have, usually pick their dress by themselves. Yeah, I have consultants, and that's where they really come into play. Guys, we don't really you know, know what you ourselves. Want. Yeah, like, we just don't. We <laughs> that's, don't often that's true. Um, so the brides and grooms come in together Okay, a lot of times. I'm and just curious. What a consultant's job is to do is to kind of help shape that. One, a girl is going to have a lot of thoughts into what she wants for a wedding, but she doesn't wear baby's clothing. He's not going to have any of it. So <laughs> a consultant's really oh my there. Goodness. We give him, we always have, every every single wedding group has at least one consultant involved with the entire process. Oh. They're there to walk you through it. You know, make it as easy as it can be. And hopefully a little bit on the fun side, guys, sometimes like, just relax. We're just picking out your wedding. This has nothing to do with your funeral. <laughs> you know? So uh, I, was, I was afraid to stereotype, but it sounds like the stereotype are very pretty. much, very much so. And there's some guys that come in like that, 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 and then like he has the yeah, whole brochure. Sure. That is a rarity, you know, and it is Spokane, Washington. Most yeah. of us are kind of more basic guys. We, we like the more simple things, so. And you've got them. They come in, you yeah. take care of them. It makes it easy, you bet. Excellent. You know, at our fashion show, um, actually, oh. Men's Warehouse is going to be there. Um, they will be dis uh, displaying the tuxes with all of the brides. And, you know, a lot of time it's just like, like, they're the, the arm candy, so to speak. Yeah, so it's absolutely. like, you know, it's all about, like he said, the gowns. But, you know, the tux is equally important. Absolutely. I mean, there's a lot of styles, as he said, and, you know, trends and colors and, and design. So, yes. yeah, it makes it fun. Well, what an exciting weekend ahead. And uh, Tammy, do you have some prizes for brides just for... We do. Every bride that comes to the show, you can actually register. So we have over $30,000 worth of prizes and giveaways. One of them is a $12,000 complete wedding package. Oh my Pretty goodness. Incredible. Yes. Yes. And um, tell me the hours of the... Saturday, the doors are open from 10 to 5. And on Saturday, we're gonna pick five grooms that will actually be live on stage. And we're gonna give away a hunting for honeymoon package where one lucky groom will dive into a cake and win this honeymoon package of four oh days. Oh my word. And then on Sunday, we have the doors are open from 11 to four and live on stage, we'll have a diving for diamonds. So one lucky bride, well, they'll all be up on stage diving into a wedding cake, and they will. One lucky bride will win a twelve or a, a fifteen hundred dollar diamond ring from Clark's Jewelers. Oh my goodness! Well, what an amazing weekend ahead at the Bridal Festival. How many years have you been doing this now, Tammy? Honestly, it's been over thirty years. Oh so my it's gosh! Nuts. It's just crazy to me. It well, seems like yesterday, but it, it has been. Yeah, I'm feeling it. <laughs> ah, well, hey, you do not want to miss this event if you have a wedding coming up or planning for the future. And uh, thank you so much for giving us a tour. It looks like a great time. Oh, thank you, Chris, so much for coming.